Hello, and welcome to today's webinar presented by Nova Biomedical. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Matthew McRae, and I am the product line manager for biotechnology products here at Nova Biomedical. Uh, Nova Biomedical's corporate headquarters is based just outside of the Boston area in Massachusetts in the United States. And first, I'd like to thank all of you for joining today. This is the second uh, in our webinar series that we are doing uh, this year uh, as it relates to the newly introduced BioProfile Flex2 uh, Full Comprehensive Automated Cell Culture Analyzer. And I'm sure that what you'll find today will be most useful for your respective cell culture processes. As I said, this is webinar number two. The first webinar can be found on our website if you did not attend that webinar. If you did attend that webinar, I want to thank you for joining us uh, back then a few months ago as well. Uh, the title of today's webinar is BioProfile Flex 2 Integration with Sartorius Amber 15 Cell Culture Microbioreactor System. And this is a case study for automated sampling, feedback control, and predictive modeling of a CHO cell culture process. So before we begin the technical content of the webinar, I'd like to give a brief overview of the format of the event. The webinar will consist of three main sections. The first section will have a brief refresher of the BioProfile Flex 2 for those of you who did not join the webinar earlier this year. And really, it is a focus on the Flex 2 key features as it relates to comprehensive and automated analysis for the cell culture market. Second. I'll briefly describe the integration of the BioProfile Flex 2 with the Amber 15 system with respect to how the systems connect fluidically, how communication and sample scheduling is handled, as well as the full complement of advanced capabilities available with an integrated BioProfile Flex 2. Third, I will discuss in detail the objectives and results of the case study performed at MIT. Finally, there will be an opportunity to respond to any questions you may have submitted during the webinar. And just as a reminder, at any time during the webinar, you may send a question electronically. The webinar should take approximately 30 minutes of content, followed by approximately 25 to 30 minutes for questions. So there will be plenty of time at the end for questions. And I assume that we'll have quite a few uh, given the uh, topic that is going to be discussed today. 